is a <coughs> You water? You want your water? No. No. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. The one of the most uh, <coughs> beautiful teachings of uh, Lord Maitreya is very important. You follow this very carefully. It's a very, very important lecture. It is a paradox that those who worked do not look so much for rest, and those who look for rest do not work so much. It's a wonderful reason. I will repeat again. It is a paradox. Paradox means otherwise. That those who work do not look so much for rest. That is the first statement. For those who work, they will not, they will not think about rest. You understand? For those who work all the time, they will not think about the rest. Rest means take, take rest. Rest, okay. That those who work do not look so much for rest, and those who look for the rest do not work so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful teaching. Because to work in a different planes that we have to understand. Work is a work, but we work in different planes and different motives, different purposes. Right? But work is a work. Sometimes people all the time they used to work and work and work. We feel how oh, they will be so much exhausted all the time they will work. So it is not true all the time. It is not true. Once when, when my daughter was so sick and doctors advised her to complete her education of one year education in two years. So the advisor had not to strain herself, let her complete slowly, let her take one or two years more to complete the entire course. Then I went to some other hospital, very big hospital in some other state. Then I a discussion with one of the very good doctors, Ang Man. You know what he said? What the other doctor said is so good, nothing wrong about it. But a strain is a different word. It is not common with everybody, with everybody every day. If you like some work, you will not feel stress of it. Even though it is a very big work, if you like it, you will not feel stress. Even though the work is very small, if you don't like it, you feel a lot of stress. stress. If your daughter, it seems your daughter likes studying, if she likes it very much, let her appear to the exam this year itself. Don't postpone. Mm -hmm. She will not take any stress in her mind because she likes it. Mm -hmm. To my surprise, Doctor asked her to complete in two years, but what, you know what she did? She completed the two examinations at one time. <laughs> understand? Then I understood that what he said is true. So my daughter proved it. So the stress, the rest, and the work differs from people to people the way how they understand it. So Maitreya is telling that people all the time when they work, they, will, they don't want any rest. But people always wanted to take rest, they don't, they don't work. Okay. Next. It is a further paradox that those who rest more than work 
are, are the ones who are frequently weak and debilitated. The most important teacher. People all the time, when they wanted to take rest, but sometimes they have to work, you see. But most of the time they take rest and then they have to work at least to earn their money for their bread. But even though they take more rest, the small work, they will become so weak and <coughs> debilitated. Generally what we think, when we work for a long time, we will be exhausted. You understand? We will be exhausted, we will become very weak. But here he is telling otherwise. People who take long rest and then when they go, go for work, they will be debilitated and, and very easily exhausted. Man's understanding of rest lacks the common sense. Man's understanding of rest lacks common sense because what we understand as rest, we are not understanding it properly. Lack of common sense. So Mahatma Gandhi, you know, you heard about Mahatma Gandhi. You know what he said, it's a beautiful teaching. When you are exhausted with the physical work, when you are working physically, when you are totally exhausted, then give a rest to the body and work with the mind. <laughs> it is not exhausted. It is physical work. You are working with your legs and hands and this and that. So a physical body needs some rest, then give rest to the physical body, but work with your mind. After some time, mind will be totally exhausted reading and thinking and teaching, all this intellectual work. Then don't worry, give the rest to the mind and work with the... See, this teaching I like very much. If anybody asks, if you ask me how you are able to work at these days and along traveling, this and that, this is the secret. I like that teaching very much. I have taken that teaching as it is into my life. You understand? So somewhere you have to pick up something for your life which is suits your constitution or your work. Something good you have to choose. Right? So, consequently, he's telling otherwise, consequently, the ones that are at rest are more sick than the ones at work. Mm -hmm. He's telling. People who are taking more rest, they will become very sick than the people who are working always. See, see how beautiful the teaching is. It is my personal experience. It is my personal experience. When I was so sick in 2013, I, t I told you in my last class, my two legs totally did not function. I was totally on the bed for almost two, three months. The doctor advised me to take injections each injection cost 1,250 francs. One injection cost 1,250 francs. Like that, he advised me to take five injections. Mm -hmm. That means almost 6,000 uh, francs. It is not about money. Then I said to, my, to the doctor, I don't want to take those injections. It is not about money. I thought they are very much dangerous to the health. Mm -hmm. and, uh, even he said, if you take those injections, six injections, five, five injections, then there is a possibility for you to just walk after one year. Then to walk like ordinary person, it will take six more months. That means it will take 18 months for you to move with the other people if you take these injections, there is no other treatment. I said, uh, I'm afraid of taking those injections, not because of money, because of the, the powerful injections, because I have to be afraid of for my lungs and my heart and my kidneys and my liver all the time. Even the small pain here, maybe because of those injections. <laughs> it will haunt me in my, my entire life. I said, I don't want to take the injections. Then how you will survive? I don't know, I said. <laughs> I don't know, I will survive. 
all the time I used to ask myself, Hey Raju, do you have any complaint against your master? Because you are in a helpless state. He has to come and help you. I asked myself, is there any complaint against the master? No. I am very happy. Because I have no complaint. You helped so many people and you gave medicines to so many people. You did a lot of things in your life, but you are, you are like this in this helpless situation. Any regrets in your life? No. What is there? Nothing. This is a part of life. I am very happy with that situation. That is what we call acceptance. Unless the situation comes to our life, uh, there is no guarantee. We can understand the things very well. We can like, sir, we can like these teachings very well. What is the problem here? Unless the situation comes into our life, we cannot understand whether we follow it or not. We don't want those situations. <laughs> they are very dangerous. You understand? So that doctor told me what you will do. I also don't know what I will do, but I will wait. See, I called my niece, my cousin sister's daughter. She is a physiotherapist. And I told her I will use homeopathy medicines. The doctor who is my friend, a very sincere, serious, sorry, advanced doctor, senior doctor, he told me, Raju, I cannot give you the medicine. Mm-hmm. Because he is afraid to give me the medicine because uh, people thought I will die mm-hmm. within a uh, few days. Almost 35 kgs weight I lost. 35 kgs weight I lost. 38 of my vest has become 32. Mm-hmm. I became so thin, only bones and uh, uh, no flesh. My thighs uh, become like this. Mm-hmm. You can understand. And then uh, my, I called my niece and said, and you give me some physiotherapy. There's such a beautiful girl, she's 23 years old. <laughs> and she said, uh, Uncle, and you, you just don't worry about it, you will become all right. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure. She's very young, 23 years, 24 years old. Just so start physiotherapy. You know the result. I was living in, in my brother's house. Immediately I told my wife, I have to vacate this house first. Let us move to our sister's house. Then the first thought came to my mind. Immediately I called my friends and they have lifted me in the chair and again lifted me to the There is no lift. She was living on the third floor. And they took me from the chair to the third floor. When I stepped into my Saraswati's sister's house, I felt a lot of relief. Mm-hmm. And so I came to the right place. Within one month, I could walk with the, what is that? Uh, the same instrument. Yeah, yes. I could walk with it. Like a child, I was so happy. <laughs> the small children, when the first time they walk like this, I had a feeling, oh, I am able to walk. <laughs> and then I practiced with help this and take my uh, hands out and, oh, I am able to walk. After one week, you know what I did? I did only four o'clock. <laughs> then I practiced the stick for 15 days. So I gained a lot of confidence. Then, if I stop there, there is no story. <laughs> then you know what I did? I am on the third floor, you see. I left the stick, and there is a support and the staircase, you see. Mm-hmm. I took the support staircase. Mm-hmm. I came down <laughs> to the ground floor. Then I am afraid. <laughs> <laughs> he had to go up, you see. <laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning. I don't know what to do. No mobile here. <laughs> and then somebody came and they said, Why are you here, sir? Say, please give me your mobile. 
<laughs> and he said, I didn't want to Venice. Hey, I came down. Said, are you crazy? You are on the bed for three months. You came all the way, three stairs. How can you go up? Because your heartbeat will be increased. Mm-hmm. There is a lot of chance for any heart attack. Call somebody and go, go back again. <laughs> really, I'm afraid. And I told myself, no, 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 a lot of life is there. <laughs> you will not die. <laughs> go. And step by step, like this, like this, like this, I went upstairs. From that day onwards, I made it a point to come down, go to my office in Vaisak, and go up. Within three months, I was totally all right. Then I went to see the doctor. <laughs> he was shocked. <laughs> hey, you are here. Yes, I am here. What medicines he used? <laughs> Nothing. Homeopathy doctor, he refused to give the medicines. I am using the vitamins. What did you do? I did nothing, sir. This is what we call the acceptance. Don't, don't think this is, these are all the philosophical things. No, that things directly works in your life, if you believe it. If you believe that those are for teaching, are good teaching, beautiful teaching, what are the use? You understand? So, work and rest, if it is not, if, if it is, if you are in a other state, I would have stayed on the bed for one year, or one and a half year. I could walk within two months. Doctors told me he, he can walk after 18 months, if I take those medicines. I could walk after two months. And I went to Vaisag and uh, I went to Hyderabad and came to school. I was uh, staying in the first floor in Machili now. Every day go up and down. No lift. Life started like that. This is the beauty of the rest and the work. I believe I believe in my I believed in my life. If you are working, then we'll be all right. If you want to take the rest. It kills your energies. <coughs> Don't try your mind. Hey, you are exhausted. Take rest. Finish. <laughs> Listen. No, it is too much. Take rest. Finish. <laughs> you understand? So when you are working for something, so here the here the beauty is. If we are working for ourselves, don't expect much energies from inside. If we are working for a good cause, if you are working for a selfless vision, if you are working for a society, if you are working for a group, if we are working for the welfare of the people, then you will get much more energy. You understand? When we are working for ourselves, there is no limitation in our life for our expectations. If we earn one million dollars, you think about two million dollars. If we earn two million dollars, you think about four million dollars. There is no limit for our expectations. That's why all the time we will be very unhappy. If you are working for others <coughs> without any expectations, then there is no thing like unhappiness because you are working for others and they are so happy and you will be happy. <coughs> there are no expectations here. Even then, you, you expect any appreciation from others when you are working for others also, then we will be unhappy. They will take the help and they will go away. <laughs> we expect that they should come. Oh, thank you very much. They will, they will tell you thanks very much one time. They will tell you two times. We expect all the time they should thank you. All the, whenever they see you, oh, thank you very much. He helped me a lot because of you. I am living here. Who will, who will tell that? They will be busy in their own way. These are the main things for the unhappiness. So work is a work, rest is a rest. 
So when some if you are working 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 and working, the body will give you the energies. If you are working for a right cause. So you are, you are watching the movie all the time without taking rest. That is not work. <laughs> if you are taking the alcohol all the time, I am working, sir. What you are working? <laughs> taking alcohol. I am all the time smoking. What you are? Sm- I am enjoying the smoking, sir. Enjoy. <laughs> you will learn the lesson afterwards. Doctor, enjoy with the money. <laughs> <laughs> what you will pay to treat your lungs, <laughs> he will enjoy, <laughs> not you. I am not talking about that type of work. Mm. You understand? Mm. So, don't think if you take much rest, don't think you will be very happy. If people they are trying to take much rest, they will become very easily sick. Mm. Don't think people all the time who work, they will be very weak. Don't think like that. He's telling. Man's understanding of rest lacks common sense. Consequently, the ones that are at rest are more sick than the ones at work. The secret of nature is that it provides rest in work. The nature, the nature, the secret of nature is that it provides rest in work. That we have to provides rest in work. Mm-hmm. Provide means it will give rest in work. Mm-hmm. When you are working, automatically you will, get, you will get the rest also. That is the secret of the nature. Understand? Okay? Understand? Right. Rest after work is ignorance. Rest after work is ignorance. Rest after work is ignorance. Generally, that is what we call the vacation. <laughs> it, it, it has come to India also. This, this vacation disease has come to India also. Now, uh, central government, uh, they, they are now they are following the five-day week. Eh? Our state government also now they are state government employees. They are demanding for five-day week. Now all the banks in India they are working only for five days. It is a big problem for us. In general, in India, they won't work. <laughs> they want to take rest. <laughs> Even in the, here in your countries, you, if you don't work, they will take you out from the job. India, most of the jobs, they are government jobs. <coughs> if you work or not, it's the same. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the people who work, they will suffer. People who, who don't work, they will take rest. <laughs> they will enjoy. Now they are going for five-day week. So Monday is a holiday, <laughs> our, our banks don't work for three days. <laughs> it's a new problem. So <laughs> what he's telling, rest after work is ignorance. People, they, we need some rest after work. It's ignorance. Longing for rest is a sickness. Longing for rest is a sickness. Longing for rest means all the time asking for rest. We need much more rest, sir. It is what is called, it is a sickness. He is a, he, the teaching is so beautiful. I don't know whether you accept it or not. <laughs> no, it is my life. That I am so comfortable with it. Master lived when we are, when we are with the master. <coughs> we used to work minimum 18 years and maximum 20, 20, minimum 18 hours and maximum 20 hours, sometimes 24 hours. We never had sickness, we never had sleeping temperament. All the time you will be surprised if master works 24 hours continuous, the next day morning his face become much more beautiful. Mm-hmm. We could see a glow in his face. 24 hours, all the time night he used to dictate, we used to write it. In between a cup of coffee, next day by six o'clock, if we, if we look at the master's face, it's a big glow in his face. Mm-hmm. So I'm so fortunate to have such a master. That's why even at this age of 66 years, and I used to work minimum 14 to 16 hours a day. 
Today morning, I woke up at 4 o'clock and I'm so happy with me, with myself. I went to bed at 9.30 at 10 o'clock and woke up by 4 o'clock as if I'm in India, in Switzerland. You can't believe, you are looking at me, you see. How I'm able to work and how people, they cannot work. It's all attitude, difference of, it's all different of attitude. The way they, they think about themselves, the way they think about the rest. And that's why he's telling, uh, the rest after work is ignorance. Longing for rest is a sickness. All the time we wanted to take rest, it is, it is an indication of a sickness. The globe is, you see here he is giving a beautiful examples. The globe is, the globe is not at rest as we understand. The globe mm-hmm. is not at rest, we understand. All the time it is. That's why you are stable here. Even if there is a small change in the speed, of the globe, mm-hmm. what happens? Everything will be destroyed. Mm-hmm. May I ask, um, what is uh, if people are burned out? Burned out. Uh, yes. I will. I will. I will tell you. Yeah. You will not be burned out. Don't worry. No. <laughs> <laughs> In our group, they will be burned out. <laughs> no, In our group, if somebody is not working, the then they will be burned out. Who is working all the time? Mm-hmm. Or? Yes, yeah. I will tell. You. The globe is, I, I will explain, yeah. that is very important. The, 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 it is a science, it is a science. The science is a physical science, and science on the psychological plane, mm-hmm. and science on the spiritual plane. Mm-hmm. Even uh, if you believe that you are just a physical body, mm-hmm. then you are right. Okay. Okay, yeah. And if you believe that you are not just a physical body, you are above the physical mm-hmm. body. The vital, vital force is there. Mm-hmm. And your thinking uh, patterns will be changed a little bit more. And you are, then you believe that you are not just uh, the vital force, mm-hmm. you are your mind. Mm-hmm. And then you can lift yourself to the psychological level, mental plane. Okay. And mind is also, if you believe, if you know that, if you understand that, your mind is also your instrument. Mm-hmm. You are not your mind. Mm-hmm. You are not your thought. Mm-hmm. You understand? You are above that. Then you will elevate yourself from the mind level to the buddhic level. Uh-huh. And then if you go further and you, be, and you understand you are not your buddhi or intellect, uh-huh. you are by atma itself. Uh-huh. You are going to the higher planes. Uh-huh. Then if you go further into the level of the sun, all the time, whether in India or Switzerland or in America, all the time it is them. Sir, uh-huh. The earth is getting the light from the sun and the energy from the sun and the life from the sun. Uh-huh. And if, if there is, if, if you, you, if we can form a link between these higher energies uh, to our lower energies, mm-hmm. then you will function in a different way. Okay. Yeah. It depends on so many things. Mm-hmm. The way you believe, the way you plan your life, the way you understand about the loss of the nature, the way you understand the spirit, the way you understand about the soul, and it will elevate you from one plane to another plane then you, 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 you will not just live on the physical food. You can also change the energies from the heavens and uh, you can also invoke the energies from the heavens then also they will work the, in, into the settler, in the settler levels. So then what happens, you know, the need of the physical food will slowly and slowly come down. I, when, when I am telling Master of what 24 hours means, you may think that he used to take a lot of food because all the time he is working. He take twenty-five uh, percent of the food. What we take in the entire life? You understand? Even yeah, though he worked for long hours, for many many years, and don't think that he used to take a lot of food and a lot of fruits and a lot of vegetables, a lot of cereals, a lot of biological food. Don't don't think like that. He used to take one or two idli in the morning. You used to take uh, 25% of the food what we eat in general. Night there is no food, one pulka or chapati, one cup of coffee, that's it. He is so healthy till the end, so beautiful. So there is another science. We believe that we are living with the physical food what we eat and what we take. 
it is not true all the time. If you if you believe that you are the physical body only, then it is true. You have to survive only on the physical food. If you believe you are not a physical body or something else, then you have the you, have, you can also take the other food from the nature, from the air, from the water, from the sunlight. There are so many things. You understand? So the globe is not at rest as we understand. The planets too are not at rest as we understand the word rest. All the planets, all the time, they are moving around themselves, they are moving around the sun. And all the planets and the sun, they are moving around the pole star, or our seven uh, <coughs> stars, or great bear. Okay. And great bear and all these things, they move around some other thing. Like this, all the glow, all the entire universe is moving around some other and some other, some other thing. There is an end, there is no end to it. Nobody knows how far the universe is. Mm-hmm. All the time they are moving and moving and moving and moving. The rivers also flow, though not restless. The rivers also flow, though not restless. All the time they flow, but they are not restless. If you work two hours more, one hour more, <laughs> what we will do? We will become so restless. Oh, so boring. <laughs> I should never do that. <laughs> and discuss it. And, uh, no, no, we, now in the automation period time, in the, in, the, in the entire globe, what they are doing, they are taking the jobs of so many people and they, they are throwing uh, the, the job on the machines or when there are no machines, they are throwing the job, they are sharing the job with other people. And 20 people's job, they are now, 5 people are doing. Mm-hmm. So they will, they will become restless. But if you look at the rivers, all the time they are flowing. They are not restless. Imagine if the blood stream, imagine if the blood stream in us rests for a while. <laughs> Enough. All the time blood is flowing, mm-hmm. the heart is pumping and uh, sending the pure blood to the parts of the body and purifying ears. And if, we, if it wants to take rest for a while, then. what happens? Yes. Father, imagine the heart and the breathing principles in us think of rest as we do. Imagine. The heart wanted to take rest. <laughs> Few seconds. Lungs wanted to take rest for a few seconds. Imagine what happens. The creation collapses if the rest, as we understand, is thought of. If anything in the creation stops working for a few seconds, and a total collapse. What is needed is poise, but not rest. What is needed is poise, a balance, but not rest. That's why I told you, Mahatma Gandhi said, you are totally exhausted with your physical body, work with your mind. There are a lot of things you have to plan for the future, the next day. And we are totally exhausted with your thinking. Then work with your uh, physical body. What is the word? Organize your house, go to the garden, give the water to the plants, and then reorganize your books. Not only here. Work means not only in the office. Here, here, here the beauty is vacation is one of the most evil things. <laughs> I don't. You don't. You see what happens. You see the vac- the the vacation mind when it is off from the what is that uh, office? We feel ha <laughs> first up, first feeling. Then you shut, shut down all the energy levels. Next day, if, he's a, if she's a housewife, then she cook for a week or she wash the clothes and this and that, that and that. The married woman. What about the youngsters? <laughs> no work, no responsibility, nothing doing. Spend all the money, go somewhere else, do all the nasty things or good things, whatever it means. <laughs> it will become a training to the mind. If there is some work on that particular day, then you look at their face. Ha! They, they curse the God, they curse the universe, they curse the boss. They have complaints, all the complaints. What for? 
on the vacation day, <laughs> they wanted them to work for a few hours. This is the problem of the mind. This is the problem of the mind. Some people will be there, even on the vacation day, they are planned in such a beautiful way. So they have to work for other five days, you see. Totally focused on the job. So all the two days they will focus, they will work on the total plan, program of the other five days. And it is, it is called the poise. So poise, balance, poise, P O I S E, poise. It's balance. Balance. Yeah. Balance. How hmm? would Okay? So here, don't think about the rest, think about the poise, means balancing the things. So I will tell you one beautiful example. If it is me, suppose I will take you the Sunday. I will give you the example of Sunday. The most worst day on the earth. <laughs> the most worst day on the earth. Sunday. Yeah, we are also now slowly becoming Europeans, Indians also, they are taking rest on Sundays. <laughs> if it is Sunday, what, you know what I will do? If it is Sunday, I have, I will not have any work in the school, for example. Then you know how I, how I will use my Sunday? I get up very early in the morning, just otherwise. Sundays generally we get at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, order it maybe, <laughs> 8 o'clock. As we like, because there is no work in the office. You know what I will do? I will get up so early in the morning, <coughs> put the geyser heater, and then take the oil, sashmi oil, something like that, olive oil, something like that. <coughs> I take some uh, herbal powders, and I, I get up so early in the morning, and I put all the oil throughout my body, complete oil. Christian, no massage. In oil. <laughs> 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 total oil, eh? complete the small flow and then sit for some time until the oil absorbs into the body. I will have my own herbal powder and I take uh, one chair into my bathroom. I sit on it and uh, slowly apply a total uh, the herbal powder for this and this and this and this and this and every part of my body, like a small muscle, for myself. I, I, I take at least 30 minutes or 25 minutes sitting in, because everybody was sleeping, you see, <laughs> that's the advantage. And then after that, I will have a complete bath with herbal powder and this and that. And then I will come to my, then I will take one cup of water or whatever it may be. Then on that day, if I sit in my prayer, by six o'clock, there's something different. Uh-huh. If otherwise, generally people, they get up from the bed on Sunday, eight or nine or ten. Even though people, know, those who are doing the meditation or whatever regularly, 95% of the people, if they, if, they, if they feel next day, they need not go to the office, they program their mind, Tomorrow we should not get up so early. In the one day before they program their mind like that, they get up so late. That means we are disturbing our programming, mm-hmm. our discipline, our habit by ourselves. Just for mere rest, mm-hmm. it will kill the energy. So you are destroying your own continuity in your life. That is the point here. What is Sunday? It is also one day. <laughs> After Saturday, Sunday comes. After Sunday, Monday comes. After Monday, Tuesday comes. What is there for Sunday? There is no office. That's all. There is no office means you should not disturb your continuity. In the nature it is not there. In the nature continuity is there. Inside the continuity is there with the heartbeat the breathings, the blood flow. Except in our self, everywhere the continuity is there. All the seasons, the continuity is there. Sun takes the water from the ocean, 
Continuity is there. Again, the clouds giving the water to the earth. Continuity is there. In every damn thing you see the continuity, except in the life of the human being. That's why he suffers. That's why they will have the sickness. That's why they will have the psychological problems. That's why they will have the diseases. That's why they have the restless mind. That's why they will have the complaints. That's why they will have the karma. No karma to the plants. No karma to the animals. No karma to any other being on this earth except to the human beings. You see? So, Sally, imagine if the blood stream in us rests for a while. Father, imagine if the heart and the breathing principles in us think of rest as we do. The creation collapses if rest as we understand is thought of. What is needed is poise but not rest. If poise is there, the culmination of doing and not doing. So here doing and not doing, both are one. The culmination is there if you understand the rest in a right direction. You think about the poise, not rest. You ask me all the time if you are working, then we will be exhausted, burnt out, he said. It is true. That's why even the plants, if you understand it very well, if you understand the plant, what they will do in the plant, they, the, the daytime, they, they take the carbon dioxide, they take the sunlight, what for? To prepare their food, photosynthesis, what we call the photosynthesis, they take the carbon dioxide and sunlight and they prepare the food for themselves to survive. And what they, what they will do in the night? They throw out the carbon dioxide, they take the oxygen. That's why people say we should not sleep under the trees in the night time. We should not sit or we should not, we should not sleep under the trees in the night time because they throw out the carbon dioxide and they take the oxygen. That's why it is very wise to sit on the trees in the daytime. So it is all, it is all yes, like a cycle. That's why if you are totally, we should not adjust, adjust the total physical energies. It is a physical activity, it is not nothing to do with the mind. It is a physical activity. When the body is exhausted, generally it will take rest. It will prompt you for rest. Not with the mind. The energies of the, energies of the body, they are totally exhausted. They go for rest. They will, they will prompt you, you, too, you just take rest. It is, it is not the rest on the vacation day. It is the rest, the vacation, rest on the vacation day. The vacation day is your mind program, mm -hmm. not of the physical body program. You have to understand that. Mm -hmm. you understand what I am telling? Yes. Suppose, I will tell you an example. Why you are getting up so early in the weekdays? Because you have to go to the office. Because of that only we are getting so early. When we are not getting up, uh, when we are not uh, getting up so, so early in the Sunday, because there is no emergency for you. Uh -huh. So we are working not with the nature, we are working with the need. Uh -huh. <laughs> we are working for the emergency. You understand? We are not following the laws of nature. What is the law of nature? Before sun rises, we have to get up. India, it is 6 o'clock sunrise, that's why you have to get up so early. Suppose if in your country if sun rises by 7 o'clock, for example, you have to get up at least by 6.30. The, the principle is, you have to get up early before the sunrise. Then only you can take the advantage of the sunlight. It is very good for the health. Very good for the, physically speaking, very good for the D vitamin. Spiritually speaking, it is very good for to elevate ourselves and to create uh, to create some energies from inside, to develop much more spiritually, and to activate the inner forces, which are the dormant state. In, in every one of us, or in every one, everyone in, in every human being, 
the same forces are there. Mm-hmm. We, we need not get something else from the, from the universe. It is already, already programmed here. Already there. Sunlight is there outside. We have to open the door, that's all. Mm-hmm. We need not create any sunlight and we need not create any light. It is already there. What you have to do? Have to take out the curtains and have to take the doors out, then the breeze come in and sunlight come in. So everything is here, the Atma is here, the soul is here, the God is here, the angels are here, archangels are here, Every, everything is here, already we are equip, equipped with it. We need not go search for it somewhere else to bring something else. It is not correct. We have to open ourselves, we have to open the doors towards those inner forces. So you have to follow the nature. You have to follow the nature. There are certain rules. What are the rules? You have to get up so early before the sunlight. Get up, go to the bed early. Get up from the bed early. It depends upon the time, it differs. Maybe it depends upon the time. It's not six o'clock, it's not a must in Switzerland. I am not telling that you have to do the prayer at 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock. It, your seasons are different and India is different. We are very really lucky. Six round about 6 o'clock we will have Sunday, Sunday and sunset. That's why we set 6 o'clock for the prayer. In America it is much much more different. Sometimes they see the uh, sun 10 o'clock in the night or 9 o'clock in the night. Yeah. They see the sun. So we have to, you have to adjust yourself according to the laws of nature according to the ge- geographical situations mm-hmm. where you are living. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. exhaustion of the mind, exhaustion of the body is different. Mm-hmm. Here what he is telling, to take a rest is a disease. Mm-hmm. Rest is needed for a body. It is a science. Okay. And the total body is exhausted, generally will go to the sleep. I will tell you, I will give you an example. You, you will try it today. When you go to the lunch, you take much more lunch. Oof. Try it, yes, I'm, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Then I sleep in the afternoon. Exactly. Yes. Why? Why? <laughs> tell me. Um, tell me the science. Tell me the signs when somebody takes a lot of lunch, mm. why they will go to the sleep? What is working? The body, yeah, all, yeah, all here, all the food, the energy. The food needs all the energy from our body. Exactly. For the That's why the mind proposes the sleep to the body. Yeah. And because if, if you are awake, you have to, the same energies you have to spend for so many things, for walking and yeah. writing and speaking. Yeah. But it, there's a lot of food. Uh-huh. It, le- it, le- it needs much energy to digest. Uh-huh. That's why what mind does, it creates sleep. Uh-huh. And then we'll be sleeping and all the energies, uh, yeah. the body works for digestion. Yeah. So your body also has intelligence. Okay. Not only the mind. <laughs> that, that is the beauty of the creation. So it, it will uh, induce sleep on you and you go to the sleep and all the energies they work for this. That's why what uh, the master says, don't eat much. <laughs> don't eat much. Then if you go further science, what they will tell you, don't eat, don't eat much quantity of food, but eat quality of food. Here quantity is not important. What is important? Quality is important. If you go further, what is quality? We know what is quantity. If you go, if you go further, what is quality? It is a big science. It, it differs from individual to individual. Then they, if you go to the dietics and uh, what is the diet and why body needs the food to sustain itself. Body needs some energy. Why you need energy? You have to work. <laughs> That's it. Only to survive in this world, we need food. Generally what we do, if we eat, we live. But what we do, we live to eat. <laughs> We have to eat to live in this world. But what we do, we live to eat. Mm-hmm. Somebody eating, somebody is taking food to live, is a yogi. 
Somebody is living uh, to eat, he is a bogey. <laughs> bogey means. <laughs> then he will become rogi. Rogi means patient. <laughs> you understand? See the signs. So some you need some type of food, I need some type of food, she needs some type of food. Depends upon the work what you do. If somebody is doing a lot of physical work, they need a much more food than us, because they need muscular energy. People who are all the time working with the intellect, they should not eat much food. People who cannot work, have no work on the physical body, all the time sitting in the office, with the computers, or with the accounts, all the time intellectual work, they should not take much food. Body doesn't need much food. Because there is no physical exercise here. If they also eat a lot of food, like the people who are working, a manual worker, it is not a natural way of taking the food. So then, what is the best food? Which is easily digestible is the best food. Best food. If you go further, what is the best food? Which is easily digestible. Mm-hmm. What is easily digestible? The milk, the honey, a very good ghee, or the fruits, they are very easily digestible. What are the foods which are not easily digestible? non vegetarian food. If somebody eats a meat or something else, it will take minimum 24 hours to 36 hours to digest. If you take vegetables or the leaves, if you take honey, it will take few minutes to absorb into the body. Take good ghee, it will take a few minutes to absorb into the body and become energy. If you take fruit juices, very easily digestible. If you take fruits, very easily digestible, immediately they will be transferred into the energy. If you take the vegetables, the leaves, it is very easy to digest them. If you take the non vegetarian food, for animals, it is okay. They can digest. Because their system of digestion created by the God is like that. The system is not like that. Of course, we can eat. That is a different thing. But science says, if somebody eat, eat they take the meat or something, it will take minimum 24 hours to 36 hours to digest. Like if you go further and further and further, so for some people, I will, tell, I will tell you an example. I told once, one of my friends is a professor. They are total non vegetarians Total non vegetarians means uh, at least uh, four or five times in a day they, they take uh, uh, the chicken or uh, something like that. So they have a lot of... Uh, uh, liking into the prayer. This particular lady, if they sit in the prayer, when once she says, Namaskar Masi, she lose her consciousness. Even you throw them, throw them, throw her like that, she will fall. No consciousness. For 40 minutes she will be like this. Even I, even I start the lecture and chanting, even then she will not open her eyes. And then one day what happened, she came to Vaisak for our Guru Puja, where from 3,000 people, you see. Morning prayer, when she was doing the prayer, all of a sudden, a light, a big light, came, came from Master Sirius photograph, stuck like this. The stuck, the light, big light came stuck like this, and she was totally sick. All the three days she was in the room. She could not come out of the room to attend the prayer or to attend the lectures there. And I, could not, I did not see her. Then I inquired, what about she? she? She became very sick. What happened? I went to her room and said, what happened? Do you need any medicine? No, I am feeling very weak and I cannot sit there. And this. Somehow she managed to went to Machili Patnam. And then she was, she was preparing her. Uh, the chicken curry, <laughs> immediately. And uh, people thought 
because she was so sick in Vishakhapatnam, she is still continuing. And then uh, her daughter prepared other, other food, non-vegetarian food. And next day also again, after two days again, she wanted to cook. <laughs> oh. Then she realized uh, something is going wrong. And then uh, she discussed with me and whenever two times I tried, then whenever I wanted to cook the food, non-vegetarian food, I am getting the vomitings. Just stop cooking. <laughs> so simple. To give advice is so simple. <laughs> then stop cooking. She stopped. That's it. And then no warm things. The entire family was suffering <laughs> because she's not cooking. All they are totally hundred percent non vegetarian people. <laughs> All of them they are suffering. No, no, no non-vegetarian food. They, they can't go to the hotel for the non-vegetarian food. And my wife told me, and you have to interfere. You have to interfere. And she has a hated, not hated, dislike towards non-vegetarian food. You, st- you told her to stop. And then you have to do something. There is a problem in the house. And I called her. And... Uh, why you are not uh, preparing the food? <laughs> she told me. You said not to prepare. I said, no, no, I did not tell like that. <laughs> I told you not to eat. <laughs> I did not tell you not to cook. You misunderstood my statement. <laughs> I told you not to eat. I did not tell you stop means stop eating food. I did not tell you stop cooking food. <laughs> and he said, Are you sure? Uh, may I cook again? Yes, you try. She cooked no warm things. <laughs> she cooked no warm things. Then uh, he, happily she cooked all their family. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> what? Thank you, sir. You are taking that dirty food. <laughs> I asked her to cook again. It is your bad karma, <laughs> not her bad karma, not my bad karma. <laughs> you think about your bad karma. Why I asked her to cook the food? Because you liked the food and he sees a housewife, that is her responsibility. But she will not eat again. You see how many twists are there in this small story? You see how many things are there in the small story? Explain. <laughs> Karim, explain. You see how many fish are here? So you are not wanting their mind to rest. <laughs> We are taking rest there. <laughs> they are working and we are taking no, I'm rest. Working. <laughs> no, no, these two are working. I am taking rest. <laughs> Boys. But what I see in Switzerland and in other countries, a lot of people do, do as well as they don't like. That is it, it's handy. Then they can do other work. Yeah, but it's a reality. <laughs> but the reality is a different one. The reality is that there is much work, nobody they, they should work something. It's difficult. Not difficult. Yeah. I don't think so. You believe that everybody can do work they like? You have to work some work, you have to do some work. No, it is different. What you are asking me. <laughs> Suppose I will I will explain to you. What I, what I mean no, 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 I, I understand. I will explain to you. It is uh, it is very difficult. It is very difficult to get a worker which is suitable for us. Mm. It is not so easy. It is not so easy to take up a work which is suitable for us. Mm. But we have to work. Here work is work to earn your money work to do some job to get some money, work for our personal growth, mm. our spiritual growth, work as a service to the people. Mm. Like this, uh, work is not just a work. So the, 
There's so many differences in doing the work. I want to tell for myself. I studied literature, for example, or I studied some mechanical, something like that. I may not get a, a job in the same field. Mm -hmm. That's what you are asking me. Mm -hmm. But I have to live in this world. I have to earn my own money to live in this world, to have bread. So if, if I am not able to work, if I am not able to get a job in my same field, even then I have to work to, to live in this world. So you have to adjust there. There is no other way. But there are certain things, suppose you are an artist for example. What? Artist. Yeah. You are a musician. Mm. You are a painter. You are a singer. Or you know the gardening. Or you know cooking. You like cooking. Or you, you know teaching. There are certain things where you have a lot of interest. There are certain things where you have to work by compulsion to earn your money. Mm -hmm. So you have, to, you have to understand the differences here. Some things we can work for ourselves without the interference of other people. Sometimes, sometimes we have to work as a compulsion to take care of, to take care of the responsibility of our family or financial things. So you have to understand the life pattern like this. When there is no choice for you to work for your money and no regrets, you have to work for it. Mm -hmm. But there are other, other, other sections of life is there where you can f work for yourself for your satisfaction. Mm -hmm. That's how we have to balance. Mm -hmm. Even though we feel, I don't like it, but I, am, I have to do it, I don't like it. There is no solution here. You have to accept it. That is what we call accept, acceptance. Understand? All these words, what we use, the responsibility and acceptance, all these things, they have to come to our mind at the right place. Then only you will understand the beauty of those words. Acceptance means, for example, even though if you don't like, even though if you don't like, but we are forced to do it, for certain times, we have to accept it. What, what you will do otherwise? If there is some alternative, anyhow you will quit. We are not quitting. We, we are not quitting that job. Means we have no other alternative. Then you have to accept it and do it, and then try to bring other thing what we like in your life. Spend some time on it. What Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita. What He promised in Bhagavad Gita. Whatever you do for your livelihood, whatever it may be, when you are living with the yoga, consciousness of yoga, when you are living in the speech, when you are living a spiritual life, when you are living with the with yoga consciousness, even though sometimes you fail in living in that life because of some other reasons, I am giving you a guarantee. In the next life, you will be born in a family, in a very rich family, in a very spiritual family, with a, with a very, in a very harmonious family. This is my promise to you. Provided, even though you are not focused totally on it, but you, you should not leave the path of yoga. Mm -hmm. It will come to you in your next birth. Mm -hmm. It is hundred percent true. Where you are lucky, you know, for example, take me as an example. My father is very, very rich and my mother is very rich. Since my childhood, I am so fascinated by the richness. They are very, very rich, not ordinary rich. Even though somehow I didn't have any interest on the lands and richness and politics and power, I had everything in my house. I loved the house. What is the reason? There is no reason. I left the house just like that. I left all my big, big lands and the political background and the power. Hundred people, they used to work in my house. You, you cannot believe it. In my lands, every day hundred people, hundred people, they used to work in my lands. In, in, I left everything like that and I went into the world and I, I joined in the Indian Navy. 
to fight for the country and they thought that is not my life. I came out, I don't know what to do and finally I came to, to meet the Masters. You know, what is my condition? I asked the Master, I should not work under anybody on this earth to get my money. <laughs> master said, you left your father and mother, you don't want to work under anybody else. How, how can you live in this world? I said, I don't know. <laughs> you know what Master said? You are too emotional. That is what I showed you yesterday. I did not tell that. That's why I told you it is not possible to you to see in 10,000 hands. That, that is a horrible individual line. said, how can you live in this world? Master said, I don't know. I don't want to work under anybody else. <laughs> you are too emotional, Raja, and you please stay with me. Now I am living like that. <laughs> I never worked under anybody. I created the job, I created the press, I created the school. Sixty teachers are working under me and I am handling 1200 children. <laughs> I am giving the jobs to others. I am not, uh, I did not work under anybody else. I am fortunate. Mm -hmm. I am blessed. It is not so used to all the people like this. I am blessed, I am not gifted, I am blessed, I am not I am blessed, I am telling you. I am not uh, intelligent, I am not something else. I am blessed, that is the only one I can use. I am blessed. Not with my academics, not with my qualification, not with my intelligence, not with anything else, except one word. What is that? I am blessed. This is your question. Sometimes they will work, sometimes they won't work. Even if you ask me, I am not at all interested in living in Machilipat. Mm -hmm. Machilipat is not my place. I never like to live in Machilipat, but I am there since 1980. 37 years I am living in Machilipat. I never had any liking towards Machilipat. Still I am living there. That is the answer for your question. Acceptability. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. <laughs> but that we need patience and time. I, I can also use one more thing. I can also use one more thing. There is no other alternative. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that is, it is true. If there is alternative, definitely we will change. Even though there is alternative, uh -huh. if you understand the philosophy in the right way, then, then also it will not change. Before sending me to Machilipatnam, myself and Master, we are traveling in the train, three o'clock in the night, early hours. And he, he woke me up, Raju, please come. Everybody is sleeping in the train, you see, three o'clock in the night. And he asked me to come to the 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 end of the compartment where toilets are there. And then he said, I am telling you an important thing. Tell me, Master. There is a karmic link between you and Machilipatnam. I don't know where is Machilipatnam. I never had the name of Machilipatnam in my life. I was 30 years old. He said, uh, there is a karmic link between you and Machilipatnam. In this life, it should be gone. That's why I am sending you to Machilipatnam mm -hmm. and you have to finish it off. You know, if you are there, you will you'll, you'll develop a trust and a school and a press. They will go like that. For him, that is not so important. For him, what is important to clear off my previous karmic things with the Machilipatnam. This is also the work of a master. Mm -hmm. Don't think all the, all the time masters bless you with money and this and that and that. <laughs> These are, these are all so petty things. He will think about our past karma also. Exactly. To accept the master is not such a small thing. Everything is goes well when you pray the master. And something is not going well even then if you accept the master, that is the real quality of it is same. I had a lot of offers. Swamiji called me and he asked me, yes, you leave the uh, organization and come with me and will take you to the entire globe and you will become so famous and this and that. He appeared in my dreams. 
He discussed it with me in my dreams. You cannot believe it. He sent a person from uh, Mysore to, uh, uh, to Machili Bhattam to, to discuss with me, to join in his organization. It's not a small thing. It's a very great opportunity in my life. You know what I said? I will work for you, that's all. I will work for you as if I am working with the master. I also work for you. The only thing I can do. If this is offer given to somebody else, it is different. So what I am telling you is, sometimes we are blessed, sometimes also we are blessed by some problems in our life also. <laughs> they will also become lessons in our life if we try to learn the lessons. So we are always blessed. Exactly. <laughs> it is the only word it is, which is true. <laughs> Okay? So, just two lessons, my three teachings are over. <laughs> interesting, very interesting. Very useful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very useful. We are very blessed to have a very great master like Master E.K. He is a great teacher, great master. I know he is everywhere, anytime. <laughs> I never invoke him. I will uh, go to mm -hmm. 45. Sonia is, that's why Sonia is very angry. <laughs> 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 I will tell you one beautiful example. Mani also happened once, but he, she might have forgotten that. But few weeks back, one of uh, our good friends in Machili Patnam, he had a heart problem, heart attack. Immediately they shifted him to the nearby town and they found three blocks in the heart mm. and they wanted to put the stent, you know, mm. they put the stent. Early morning, two o'clock or three o'clock in the night, they had a dream. In the dream, some, somebody appeared before him in the dream with the white, generally they appear in the white clothes and the white clothes and he said to the man, to that man, uh, you, you repeat the prayer, what uh, I will tell. And now Scar Master, uh, he came, and see, we will see, we will see, we will see, he will validate by tomorrow morning, not very about it. Next one, he was, the next day, he, he, he was in he the high, ICU, intensive care unit. He called his wife and you know, something happened last day, what? And he appeared in, in my dream and he saw white clothes and a lot of glow and a lot of sunlight around him. And he said, nothing will happen to you and you will validate. I am so anesthetic now. Doctor came. We, we are taking you to the uh, theatre to put the stents. And they, they, uh, they put three stents and uh, the next day they released him. And he came to the school and said, I had the dream and uh, so many people are there. I had the dream and uh, appeared, somebody appeared there and uh, had that lot of strength and this and that. How is it possible? So you know who is that? He said, he, some, somebody said, no, you are mistaken. It is not somebody else, it is Master E.K. Mm -hmm. Because he appeared through this man, because you are familiar with this man. Mm -hmm. And you are feeling that this man is your guru. That's why Master E.K. appeared in his form. Mm -hmm. So this is the function of the Master. So don't think that the physical bodies, they are the eternal bodies, light bodies. Even though they are in the body or not, even though they are in the body, they appear as a light body, but we see them as physical bodies. Since, since they are not in the physical bodies, we believe they are light bodies, but I told you, I will, I will tell you one secret. Even the Master is also in the physical body. Whenever I used to meditate with him, I used to meditate Master E.K. not in a physical form. I used to meditate him as a light body, even though he is alive. I practice that meditation, even though he is alive, in a physical form. I used to meditate all the time him, all the time, meditate him as a light. That's why even now I feel him as a light. 
I felt him as an act, even though he is in the physical body. That is the way you have to practice the meditation. Mm-hmm. Then you will not be conditioned by the, any physical things. Mm-hmm. Then that is true, it is eternal. Atma is eternal, there is no death and no birth to the Atma. Then that is true. You have to practice like that. That's why I told you when I was so sick, I used to ask myself, Raju, is there any complaint against the God? Is there any complaint against your Master? Then the answer is no. Whenever I get the answer no, I am so happy. (laughs) As if I, I passed in my examination. <laughs> Somebody did not give you the marks, you have to give the marks for yourself. <laughs> Understand? Okay. 1.45, 2 o'clock, 2.45 or 3 o'clock? What do you propose? This is 12.45 now. 3 o'clock, so I make the beginning in the morning. Uh, 3, 3 o'clock, it's okay for you. Uh-huh. Uh, for me, anything is okay. Okay. We need to force prima. Okay. We need to force it a little bit Okay. 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 Okay.